Well, tonight is part of our Children First UNICEF Gala. We have some very special entertainment for you. I'm going to talk with artist and entertainer Bobby Yang. Bobby, welcome to Dallas Social Cafe. Thank you. Great to be in the 214. Well, we're glad to have <laughs> you here tonight. I have watched you, you know, listened to your music online, heard so much about you Thank from you. people that um, recommended you to come here tonight. So tell me a little bit about um, your music, your genre, what do you do? It is an acoustic jam band with technology. Uh, we started out as an acoustic jam band and uh, got three million views ten years ago on YouTube. Oh, wow. Uh, now everyone's doing that, so we are ahead of the curve and we uh, are creating music that nobody creates and creating moments that have never been experienced before, and that's what's happening tonight. Well, I know that you know a little bit about UNICEF, so tell me what um, this cause, what UNICEF does, really means to you. I am, you know, I was a child, and I cannot imagine uh, not having food to eat mm -hmm. and not uh, being able to survive. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, as UNICEF has helped save more children's lives than any other humanitarian That's right. organization. I mean, that is the hugest, huge, amazing, amazing thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get teary. So uh, just happy to be here. Bobby, thank you so much for being with me tonight on Dallas Social Cafe. Thanks. And I'm really looking forward to your performance uh, for the UNICEF first ever Children's First Gala here in Dallas, Texas. Excited to be a part of it. Thank you. Well, we can't wait to hear you perform. And I know that after we do, we'll probably want you back many more times. So you might have to travel from Las Vegas again. No problem. Hope you're OK with that. <laughs> and we hope to see you back again on Dallas Social Cafe. Well, tonight I had the absolute pleasure of speaking with President and CEO Carol Stern of UNICEF USA. Carol, welcome to Dallas Social Cafe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll have to tell you, it's, I'm almost shaking because I'm so excited. You are such, I mean, a mentor to me and someone that, uh, a woman that women look up to. And I'm so honored to have this time with you, thank even though you. it's a few minutes, because I have uh, followed you and read about you for many years. And um, for me, this is just a true highlight of my life to be able to talk to you. Thank you. That's, thank you so much. So let's talk about tonight. Let's talk about UNICEF. And um, lots of people know UNICEF. I mean, I was familiar with UNICEF. However, until I really got involved with the organization this year, I didn't know that much about it. And UNICEF USA, um, tell us a little bit more about what it does and what you do. Sure. Well, UNICEF around the globe mm -hmm. basically is the organization that puts children first and does whatever it takes to save a child anywhere in the world. So UNICEF works in 190 countries and territories, and sometimes that may mean nutrition. It could be water and sanitation. It could be immunization. UNICEF immunizes over half the world's children right now. Um, it could be education, and it could be child protection. It is really about making sure that every child gets the chance to have the childhood that he or she deserves. It's about giving them a future. And hope, and, and hope. that's what you do, and that's why UNICEF is so important um, worldwide. I mean, so that's Thank why you. I love this organization. Let's talk a little bit about Let Us Learn. Explain the Let Us Learn program. Sure. Well, you know, today, 58 million children in primary school age are out of school and should be in school. So those are schoolable kids who are not in school. Some of them, because there's been an emergency, you know, they're in a refugee camp or they're en route to, or they're in a conflict zone. But in many cases, it's because the school just doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Or it is because there may be a place to learn, but there aren't lavatory facilities for girls. There's no running water. There's no latrine. And so it's not a safe environment for a girl to go to. Let Us Learn is about making sure that every child gets access to school. And it works in particular in Afghanistan, in Bangladesh, Liberia, Madagascar, and Nepal. And it is about making sure that all the kids of elementary school age in those countries will have access to school. So in some cases, it is building the school. Tonight, we're honoring American Airlines. And this is our first annual Children's First Gala here in Dallas. And tell me a little bit about the partnership with American Airlines and Change is Good. The American Airlines partnership is phenomenal. It's part of the Change for Good program, which is an international global program with a number of airlines. But American is the only one that does it here in the United States started with American in 1994. And what it is is the airline personnel, the flight personnel, and it's voluntary. They don't, not mandated to do this. They make an announcement, a scripted announcement. They will sometimes show the UNICEF video. Mm -hmm. And then they go literally through the plane with a bag. 
and they invite passengers to put your change into the bag. So, you know, you're coming back from another country, you have euros in your pocket, you have whatever other kind of money there might be, and here's your opportunity. You can't trade that in any way to drop That's it wonderful. in the bag. Mm -hmm. And in 10 years, the American Airlines flight personnel have raised $10 million. That's amazing. Doing that. Isn't that awesome? Well, I'm so glad that um, Dallas, obviously, is the home of American Airlines, that we're honoring them tonight. and. Um, I'm very excited to see what the future holds for UNICEF. So. Well, thank you so much. You know, we are really excited to see the Dallas community coming together around UNICEF. You know, Dallas has always been um, a global city. It's a globally minded city. And the opportunity now to help focus that on the children of the world is really exciting to UNICEF. Well, thank you for putting us on your map. <laughs> and we hope to make you proud, of not only this year and the years to come. So we have some exciting announcements tonight. I think you'll be thrilled about as well. Great. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Carol. I hope you enjoyed my time with Carol Stern, the president and CEO of UNICEF. You stay with us, and we'll be right back on Dallas Social Cafe.